when you're creating something, you're really putting yourself into it and that can make you feel kind of empty. I don't mind that because I feel like that's just part of it. That's just part of the process. So even if I do feel empty, it's like I have put it somewhere. And even if it fails, it's that's just part of it as well. If someone can just immediately recognise or see a part of yourself in something you've created, I think it's really cool. Naturally, I'm really shy. My, my worst fear is talking to strangers, but all of my work seems to be about doing things that are in the public sphere that people interact with and require me to talk to strangers. I think to myself, oh my God, I don't want to do this at all. That's when I do my best things and that's when you feel satisfied in what you're doing. It took me ages to realise that. Coming from a background of no writers in the family or just friends, it was very scary because you really wanted to do something and you've said it aloud enough times that you kind of have to do it now, but there's almost no evidence of it around you, so how am I going to get this done? How am I going to reach that goal? But they came out of nowhere and then they became friends and they became really good friends and then they became people that you could share really intimate things with and that helped like immensely. It makes you feel like you can actually do this. And it was, yeah, like, the best thing I've ever done because this is what I'm meant to be doing. This is the bit that's missing from my course at home. And then I came back and wasn't allowed to do any of the stuff that I wanted to do. And that was kind of like the struggle that I had at the end that oh, I just decided to stop. When I wasn't thinking about making things at all was suddenly when I started thinking about, I actually do still want to make stuff. Doing the Bobkin visual arts was a massive turning point, not even just for creating stuff, it's just for looking at art in a different way and looking at different subject matter. I've always kind of been interested in looking at like politics and like racial politics and it's like a mark on the times, you know? So it's nice to talk about it and make people like conscious of that. Coming up in a household that wasn't the same as like ev everyone else's who went to school or went to work with me. That definitely has influenced me and seeing that people aren't doing the same as me, I went to do what I do more. You have to at least try and do things that are going to benefit the world in some way or, you know, I mean, it's a big dream, but I would love to do things that can change the way that people think about things. Nope, let's do that again, that's rubbish. <laughs>